Okay, so this is just a real quick tutorial about um, how to download and install the Dogs Cast Three mod pack, and more importantly, how to play on it. Because it doesn't matter if you have it installed if you can't play it. Um, so there are three links down in the description. The first one's this AT launcher. This one is for a texture pack, and this one is for something that uh, we may need to use later. Uh, for starters, though, you're going to go to the AT launcher, go to uh, the download section, and you're going to click on the Windows download. Uh, once you do that, it should create a little thing that you go down here. It's not a very big file, um, but what you're going to want to do is you want to create a new folder, like I did here, name it something like AT Launcher or something like that, um, because once you open this baby up, it's going to create a lot more files, as you can see here. Uh, so once you go ahead and launch it, um, it's going to bring up two things. One of them is going to be this little uh, console thing. It's not really that important, um, made by Bob, and um, you're going to be in the launcher here. Uh, by default, you're not going to um, be signed in like this. You're going to have to go over to accounts and then enter whatever your uh, username, email, however you sign into Minecraft usually. So you just use your Minecraft credentials there. And then click on add and it will ask you to switch over to profile. So you're going to do that. So here I've got my profile selected. Once you do that, you're going to head over to packs and just simply search uh, Yogg's cast and it will be the only one that's basically on there. Um, you want to click on new instance and that's going to start doing all this fun download stuff and you want to click on install. Now for the particular version that I'm going to be running on my server, um, once I click on install, um, uh, you're going to click on yes because it says I already have it and I'm going to click on select recommended and that will automatically get everything I want. Now there's a bunch of other mods here obviously. This uh, installs the basic 238 mods that it comes with, but obviously if you want stuff like uh, whatever map mods you like to use, if you like to use Raze or the Map Writer, or if you want to add the Morph Mod, all that kind of stuff, then that will install it there. And then you want to simply click on Install. Now this is going to take a little while to uh, do its thing because it, there's a lot of stuff that has to do. So, um, lots of mods, lots of mods. Um, basically, though, once it does all of that, then you should be able to. Let we'll do that thing for a second. Okay. And then once you have all that set up, you're going to go ahead and go over to instances. And here you should find the Yogscast complete pack. Um, and you're just going to simply click on play. Now, if you do, if you click on play, it's going to do all this stuff. You're going to see a bunch of code happening over here. Obviously, and um, it might say an issue and it's not going to end up launching, it's just going to say, oh, no update found, all that kind of good stuff. So if you do seem to have that problem, um, which as you can see we are having right here, then you're going to want to simply uh, go ahead and open up the folder and you're going to want to open the mods folder. Now in this folder there's obviously going to be a whole list of all your mods here and what you're going to do is head on over to the second link or the third link that I provided here. Um, which is for the AT launcher, it's a legacy Java fixer mod. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click on install on that, and it's going to warn you about that, it's okay. Um, once you get that, you're going to want to go ahead and drag that and just drag it right into your mods folder uh, from here. And then you're going to close out of that, don't open it, don't try to install it or anything like that, because that's not what it's for, it's just a simple um, helper tool for the Forge mod builder. And once you have all that, then you should be able to click on play and as you can see the launcher went away which indicates that it is in fact going to try to open. Um, this can take a little bit of, of some time to open because obviously there's a lot of stuff going over here on the console. It's got to load 238 mods and it's got to do it specifically with uh, 1.6.4 um, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see by default your Minecraft's not going to look like this. I have a mod pack already installed which I'm going to go ahead and show you do that right now while this is loading. So head on over to the second link I provided. This will take you to the uh, BDCraft official website. And um, here you're going to go to downloads. You can download it through Google Drive or private website, whatever you want to do. I just downloaded it through Google Drive. It's going to pop up and it's going to say, oh, I can't open this file. And um, you want to click on download. Whoa, who is expected to do that? Uh, and you're going to go click on download anyway. I promise there's no viruses on it. Um, this is a 203 megabyte file, which is why you can't scan it. Um, so it could take a little bit of time to download. Um, there's no reason for me to download it since I already have it. Um, but once you have that, then obviously it will be over here in your downloads folder. 
um, it will look something like this, this fax pack. Um, once you have that, you're going to go to your AT launcher, um, go ahead and open up that folder, go to instances, go to the all cast complete pack, scroll down to resource packs, and then simply take it from your downloads folder, drag it straight into there, and it should show up um, then. It's not automatically going to start running it, but um, it will be installed. And I will show you how to get to it as soon as you get into Minecraft here. Which Cool. Um, and once you do that, um, you're going to go ahead and by default, let me just show you. Um, so obviously by default, it's not going to look like this because this is obviously with the texture pack on. Um, default look of Minecraft is going to look something like this. Um, so you have this is a list of all your mods, so you can scroll through there, double check to make sure you have all the mods you want installed. So many mods. Um, but more importantly, you're going to go over your options, go to resource packs, and you should see your uh, SFAX uh, pure BD craft uh, file there. And you can just go ahead and select that, and it's going to take a little bit of time because it's got a lot of uh, textures to work out and all that kind of stuff. And then once you have selected that, it will switch it over, and you can click done. And then as you can see, you are running this SFAX pack, and you can go ahead and create new worlds, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you do that.